Hello everybody, it says we're live. It's Anna coming to you again tonight. Wherever you are in the world, let me know where you're tuning in from when you pop on. Give me some hearts. Let me know if you're watching it live or if you are catching the replay. So tonight I want to talk to you, oh before I start that, so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Anna already said that I keep saying that my name is Anna and I am a manifesting mindset coach and I teach entrepreneurial women how to shift their perspective and release what's holding them back to creating the reality that they like because everything is in our minds our life is our concept of how we see ourselves and we all travel through our reality through our in through our time space reality or our present moment carrying the baggage of the past and the baggage of the past is what stops us from moving to the future so when you learn the skills of how to release those and and pick up the new skills of how to start manifesting your desires you can completely transform your life and that's what I help ladies do so tonight I want to talk about the chatter in your head. Now I was just listening to Dr. Joe Dispenza and I got all inspired because I've been to I've attended his his um, one of his workshops and it's really incredible material there. It's incredible work. I've been following Dr. Joe Dispenza since I've seen him on his on in the movie What the Bleep Do We Know. So if you haven't seen that movie, it's free on YouTube. I highly encourage you to to to, to take an hour and a half and watch the documentary, uh, What the Bleep Do We Know? So let's talk about the internal noise in the head. It's the single most prominent problem that, that we experience in our life. So what's the internal noise? And so how do we still the internal noise, uh, the internal noise and programming to start manifesting what we desire? So the internal chatter, the chatter in our brains or in our heads is the default programming of the brain. Okay, and it's it's that noise that keeps you up at night. It's what stops you from making choices that you really want to make. It's what keeps you stuck. It's this incessant, it's this incessant background noise, and every single one of us are experiencing that. It's just it's our part of our human human experience to experience that noise and that chatter. I know my noise drives me crazy sometimes, and it's like Deepak Chopra says it's like untamed horses. They need to be, or the wild, yeah, wild horses or untamed horses. We need to learn how to rein those in. We need to learn how to quiet that that noise. We need to learn how to settle that. Because it's it's all it's the causes of the stress in our life. It's the causes of our diseases of our of our hey darling Adam, good to see you. It's the cause of our stresses. It's the cause of our misery. I know for me personally, absolutely, because it's what we all struggle with. Why do you think people are on antidepressants or so many people? It's the most prescribed prescribed medication in the Western world at the moment because we can't stop the noise in our head. Hey Nikki. So it's this noise, it's this noise that causes us grief, it causes us illness. So, because I'll get, in, I'll get into that a little bit. So let's talk about how do we now, how do we still, hi Sal, hi Emma, it's so, nice to see you, welcome to the call. So how do we still this noise? How do we still this huge, amazing problem that we have? Okay, so we need to start, we need to step back. So actually scientists say that we have about 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day. Now when I think about that, I think that's impossible. God, that's like how many how many would that be per per minute? I kind of feel like I don't I don't understand how that can be, but scientists say that's how many thoughts a day we have. No wonder we're going stir crazy. No wonder we we're, we're just all over the place. So let's 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 have a look at what we can do to shift that. Okay. So in order to still the mind, you have to be conscious of the noise. So I always say you cannot change what you're not aware of. So there's like there's a two two aspects of ourselves that I've spoken about. It's the the conscious aspect and the unconscious aspect. Now the unconscious aspect of us is that noise. It's just this this chatter, internal incessant chatter. Now so 
how do we then slow that down? So we become the observer of that chatter. Okay, so observe it. Whenever you're, whenever you're in the middle of something, or just when you're whatever, whether you're working or cooking or doing dishes, or whatever, stop to notice the noise. Because when you notice the noise, when you notice the thoughts, you then separate yourself from the thoughts. Hi Taz and hi Carol. So when you separate yourself from the thoughts, you start to get, you start to, it's kind of like if you're sitting on, on an untamed horse and it's riding all over the place. If you get off that untamed horse, you can then see it. You can observe the horse that's going crazy and all over the place. So we can observe our thoughts. Now, one way to do that is through, another way to do that also is through meditation. Now I've heard a lot of newbies when they're doing hi Ange, when I've heard a lot of a lot of newbies when they start meditating, they say I can't so I can't still the mind, I can't I can't relax. It's because it takes practice. Remember, you've been doing this for decades, and you can't stop something instantly. It's training. It's a process. It's a consistency of doing something every single day. Thanks, Ange. So it's. It's doing some meditation every single day. Now I give my, my coaching clients a meditation, it's only 10 minutes long, which helps them to start the process of becoming still. It's a process to start becoming mindful. But in the meantime, so what it's like, this is another thing of what it's also like. It's kind of like you've got to train the mind to sit like a dog. You've got to train the mind to command the thoughts, to still the thoughts, okay? Now, Another way to do that is, you know how when you ha when you have a thought, like especially like in the, when you wake up in the middle of the, of the night, you have a thought about what so and so said, or what you didn't do, or what you need to do, etc. Usually, it's things that bother us, and then we then build upon those thoughts, and then we sort of say, well, maybe I should have said this, or I wish I said that, or or you keep you build a story in the brain, you build a story in the mind. So stop, don't build the story. Remove yourself from the story. All of a sudden, notice your notice this inner chatter, this inner dialogue, and say stop. Notice it, and then you remove yourself from it. Don't buy into it, because the more you buy into that noise, the more you then become, you become entangled, we can say. We can, we, hang on a sec. Do you coach men too, Anna? Oh, absolutely, I can coach men too. So, yeah, because we're all the same, Adam. Absolutely, I can coach men if you if you if you want if you're interested, just message me, PM me. So, okay, where was I? So, if you get entangled in the thought, you get lost in the thought. Okay, so it's separating ourselves from the thought, and this is this takes discipline, but it's actually it's actually fun because when you start this, you're going, aha. It raises awareness. It raises awareness to yourself and your thinking. Okay, Socrates says, know thyself. When you know thyself, when you understand how you function in the world, when you understand how you, why you're thinking certain things, when you understand how you participate in life, that's when you awaken. That's when the awareness happens. Okay, now Buddha says that, you know, all, all this attachment is suffering. And that's the same as our thoughts. That's causing us suffering. Uh, Dwayne Dyer says, you have no problems. You only think you do. Now, I think that comes out of, from the Course in Miracles. Now, you have no problems. You only think you do. Now, they, this is about entangling yourself in your thoughts. Now, you may have external problems or you, whatever, whatever, but we magnetize those through our thoughts. We magnetize those through this, this internal chatter. What we want to do is we want to create space. What we want to do is create space and move ourselves away from this chatter. Start to become, start to observe the chatter rather than participating in it. Give me some examples if anybody can think of that or let me know what some of your aha moments are in this. This is really big. This is really important. So now 
And this is exactly what stress is. I think I've already mentioned this. Stress stress is just a compilation of thoughts compiled. There's no space anymore. There's no room. And so we're all stressed and we're all over the place because, because our beliefs and our thoughts about whatever it is are causing that stress. And that stress, right, the mind is the body or the body is the mind. The, the two of them are connected. When you have consistent stress in your mind, then that stress then the brain releases chemicals now and then those chemicals then become entrained in the cells they become your body soaks up what you think and so for there therefore the body is the mind when you have aches and you have pains and when you start to when disease starts to happen it's all stress related scientists can prove so many things that so many things it's amazing this is a, there's no greater time to live than where we are today because we're proving science is proving how thoughts thoughts influence your body and people like Louise Hay she's got in the back of her book you can heal your life she has I mentioned this before on another video she talks about how thoughts create ailments in the body and then she has the opposing thought to the to the ailments like affirmations which then help to untangle that illness untangle those aches untangle those pains because they've come down from thought it's like the computer. Your your body, your body is like the screen. It's a reflection of what's going on in here. It's all up here. This is your reality. This is the space between the ears is so powerful when you understand how to use it. So focus on the internal chatter. Find yourself some kind of a meditation. There's there's thousands, probably possibly millions to choose from on YouTube find something that resonates for you just it can just be a 10 minute meditation and start listening to something every single day find space you have to find space in your life even five minutes which means shut shut down from everything from your computers from your phones from from social media from TV any noise just find some space and start to observe yourself create some space between you and your thinking okay so and then how do we then how do we then manifest let's let's tie in manifesting into this as well so now that you've con now that you've kind of created the credits and space in your reality and you're starting to tame those thoughts because you're becoming aware of them and you're not buying into them and you're not building them you're not participating in them so now we want to create from this because you're creating some spaciousness now we want to choose thoughts deliberately things that we want to manifest in our life rather than things that are just happening on autopilot this internal chatter so what we do is we choose thoughts we deliberately choose what we wish to experience we deliberately choose an experience or something that we want to create in our reality in our lives and then we think about those things so think about something that you want to attain, something that you want to achieve, something that you want to manifest, and then marinate in that thought. Marinate in that thought every single day. Every single day, let that thought become reality. Let it become so crystally, so crystal clear in your mind. I got a call. So let that become so crystal clear in your mind and in your imagination that you start, your body starts to entrain to the thought. Okay, because thoughts create your reality. Now, we've all been buying into the chatter, though. That's the problem. So when we're starting to deliberately think, we're starting to deliberately, hey there, so need to, how oh, wonderful, Anna, so good that you that this is helping you. So, okay, so now start to create your thinking, start to do deliberate thinking, pick something that you wanna manifest, as I was saying. Now, what is that? What would the, what are the thoughts associated with that? What would it look like if you have or if you have that in your reality? So picture it in your mind and then keep reliving the picture because as you relive the picture, you're starting to entrain your brain. As you relive the picture consistently, every single day, you start to then entrain the body. That's that reality, that new reality that you're starting to create starts to sink into your become it becomes the body because you're sinking it into your mind you're letting it become one with the mind now the brain does not know the difference between real or imagined 
So if you imagine things, people imagine themselves to health. People imagine themselves to wealth. People imagine themselves on trips. People imagine themselves to, to success. Okay, so imagine Imagine that reality as clear, with crystal clear as, as with as much crystal clear clarity as you can, and you then become emotionally. I've got. I've got to. Some, my someone's trying to get through to me. So you then start to become emotionally attached to that, and then you start to become one with that. Then you start to draw that experience into your reality. So let me know any ahas that you're getting from that. If if it's resonating with you. How are you going to apply this to your life? Okay, so so when you yeah I've got this written down here. When you've done this long enough, your body becomes the reality of the new thought, and then you start to move into the direction of the very thing that you desire. So so quieten the chatter in your mind. Start to recognize the chatter and create space between the chatter between you, your true self, your true, your conscious self, and your your chatter self, your self, your unconscious self. That's great, Sal. It's wonderful. Okay, so if you wanted to jump on a call with me and manifesting mastery, I do thirty minute free thirty minute ma manifesting mastery calls, and I can help you to identify what's holding you back from creating your ideal reality so comment interested below or send me a private message and then we can jump on a call and see how i can help you i will see you all again tomorrow thanks for tuning in guys give me some hearts if this resonates i'm going to go off into my group and do a quick call there then i'm on a call with my cl client in the united states so i'm going to talk to you all again soon have an amazing night and i'll see you tomorrow bye thanks for the hearts wonderful bye